I thought I took good care of my teeth, but apparently I just, uh, they, my original teeth didn't last. The American College of Prostodontists has released the first set of clinical practice guidelines for restored teeth. These guidelines are based on 10 years of scientific evidence. Guidelines include regular brushing and flossing, proper cleaning techniques, and seeing a dental professional at least every six months. So you've been following the at-home maintenance protocol we had for you? Twice a day I brush with a high fluoride toothpaste and I use a water pick flosser and use a prescription mouthwash. That's it. I do that in the morning and then before bed. It's been shown in some studies that over a 16-year period when a patient is not in a maintenance program that those restorations have a 90 percent increased chance of failure compared to a person who's involved in, in a maintenance program. Although there is a lot of emphasis on the cosmetic benefits of implants, crowns, and veneers, prostodontists, the specialist in this area, are teaching us that good oral health contributes to overall health. Recent studies show that 120 million Americans are missing at least one tooth, and many even more than that. I think I was reluctant to smile a lot of times, and uh, so I seemed kind of like not very friendly. First night after I got the, the restorations were finished, and uh, we went out, my husband and I went out, and a woman came up to me and told me I had a beautiful smile, and it was, the, it was wonderful. If patients do follow these clinical practice guidelines, it's much more likely their restorations that they've invested a lot of time and money into will last much longer, and it's much less likely they'll have to do do-it-again dentistry. For more information and a full list of these guidelines, go to gotoapro.org.